aquaculture, which is not on natural stock, but on artificial stocks, is increasing with many issues of space, of, of uh, where to do that, and, but, but it's increasing. At the same time, the problem for us is that we have targets for protection. So how to do that? We have increasing an activity, taking more space. We want more space for conservation. Let's try to work together that and to find solutions where we can have proper aquaculture and also a proper conservation. Developed countries as an aquaculture which is an, an, an industrial aquaculture, uh, which is not based with, on local resources. And developing countries, as the contrary, have a, most of it a, a, a locally based aquaculture, uh, uh, which is uh, managed by local uh, communities. This is where people depend entirely on the oceans for their existence, um, and their interests are perfectly aligned with conservation quite a lot of the time. You know, if there's more fish, they get more to eat, more livelihoods. Some of the best examples um, of where we're bucking the negative trends in marine protection are where local people are empowered to control access to their resources and manage them. Um, but they face a lot of challenges in doing this, and one of them is income. If they forego fishing areas, they, they face an opportunity cost. Um, and so there are some aquaculture models which are presenting really exciting opportunities to both provide new livelihood options to people who would otherwise only have fishing as a livelihood activity, and also to invest that into local management processes as a way of financing uh, locally managed marine areas. So we have also to rethink what do we mean by, aqu by aquaculture here. And we have to look at seaweeds, we have to look at invertebrates, we have to look at other uh, organisms that don't have the same uh, impact on the uh, local ecosystems.